welcome back to another Van Build Series video. I arrived in Austin late Wednesday night. It is now Saturday afternoon, and today's really the first day I actually got to work on the van. So we got quite a bit done. Um, we still have until Thursday morning when I leave to get more done. So I'm really excited to see what we get done this week. Quick note, I'm so pumped about what Adam got done when he was here last time. It's crazy that I left last time with just a subfloor and it came back to actual structure. So it finally feels like the van's coming together and it's really, really, really exciting. So I actually did not film like as we were working today because one, it was kind of boring content. It was just us cutting wood, putting wood together. So nothing super exhilarating. And then also um, kind of forgot. And then lastly, uh, it kind of slows us down quite a bit. So having to film things and stop and talk about them, it kind of does break our flow a little bit. So I'm gonna try to just share those moments more when it's actual stuff that's worth showing step by step. So let me show you what I did today. So where we last left off on our last vlog, Adam showed the shower and then the closet that are mostly done. We still have to attach some of these pieces, but everything's looking really good there. We have some plumbing going. One thing that he did get done last time that was not on the vlog is the beginning of our dresser right here. So we have the bottom and then the sides, but we still need to do all the drawers and all that stuff. And we also got one of our kitchen cabinets done. So we're gonna have three different sections total. This cabinet right here is where our refrigerator is going to go. And then above it will be where our, we'll have our silverware and utensils and all that fun stuff. And then on the top here, we put some wood down. That way we can attach the butcher block countertop. And today we got the beginning of our benches done. So we have the side pieces as well as the back piece. It's not all boxed in yet. That's something we're still working on, but we have like part of the structure in, which is very exciting. For those of you who have not seen one of our first fan vlogs, which is about our layout, we discussed how we're gonna do the whole like desk eating area convertible to bed layout. So instead of having a permanent bed that's up high, we're gonna do like the lower seating area with the table that, you know, you move the table down at night, you rearrange the cushions and it's a bed. So just for our lifestyle, working full time on the road, we really wanted to have a lot of workspace. And then also we just kind of like how open it feels being able to have a bunch of windows and just a lot of light in the van. So that's kind of why we're choosing that. So that's about it for what we got done today. It may not seem like a lot. That's kind of, we keep saying that because to us, we want to just get so much done every day, but this stuff takes a lot of time. There's a lot of time just spent thinking about how things will attach and a lot of little details that thankfully my dad thinks about because I don't know if we would think about them without my dad. So once again, shout out to my dad. He's been so helpful in this process. So tomorrow Sunday, so we'll have another full day. So our goal is to finish the kitchen cabinets and then start locking down the kitchen cabinets and um, the benches to the actual floor. So one thing I did not show, we made these things that I'm calling feet where we basically attach this wood to the side of the bench. That way we can attach the bench into the floor from here. It's a big day. My dad's letting me use the saw for the first time. I did it! So it's Sunday morning and it's not even 9.30 and we already have the benches installed. So first we did some pilot holes along the feet that we made and then we just drilled them in. And then we also added a foot here that way this back part's more secure because our lagoon table is going to attach to this so we want this to be really sturdy so our next task is to start building the kitchen cabinets i already started building this refrigerator section of the cabinet yesterday but what we did today is we added this part right here where the plywood backing that connects to the next shelf will kind of go up against and then we did some biscuits to make some shelves so we'll have one shelf here and then we have this open space which we will probably break out into other areas and then this piece right here is the other side of that so that'll connect up there obviously we will turn it over so right now we're just working on the plywood backing and then we'll get it all attached and we have attached two of the three kitchen cabinets So our goal for tomorrow is to get the rest of the kitchen installed and then we'll have one more work day to work on the van. Feeling really good about the progress. Um, it's gonna be really nice because once I leave, we will have all of like the main structures in and then it'll just be like framing and putting on like the doors and everything. So things are finally coming along. So it's now Tuesday. We've been working on the van the past two days and I have yet to film anything, so sorry about that. But we've gotten some really good stuff done and I'm really excited to show you what we did. 
So this part was minor, but when you first walk in, we have our closet, and we actually secured all of this today. That way, we don't have to take it out every time we drive the van. And we officially have a kitchen. I mean, obviously it's not done, but the bones are there, and we're ready to plumb it up, put some faces on it, put some cabinets and drawers. So right on the far left, that is under our sink area, so our plumbing will go there, all the cleaning supplies, all that fun stuff. And then above it, that's where the sink will rest. And in this middle section, we're gonna just store like pots and pans, our stove top and spices and all that fun stuff. And then here's where our refrigerator will go. And then we'll have a silverware drawer above it. And then on top, we're gonna do butcher block. And I'm really excited about it. And then over here, I showed you the dresser before. Really all we did today is we added these little corner pieces. That way we can attach the butcher block. And then we worked on the toe kick area down here. And I think that's all we did. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. It's been kind of a blur of the past few days. I have not slept really at all between working, working on the van, trying to edit vlogs and stuff. It's been pretty exhausting couple days. I'm hoping to get some sleep tonight, but that is the end of my time here. So tomorrow I actually cannot work on the van. I am here one more day, but I can't work on the van. So this is it for my trip. So Adam comes in a week and he's gonna be here for like three full days that he actually can work on the van. And unlike me, he gets to work on it all day. So hopefully we'll get a lot done then. Hopefully we're gonna get some of the faces on, um, start maybe start building some of the doors. I don't really know. We've learned to stop like predicting what we'll get done. We just kind of show up and just go with the flow. So really happy with how this is going so far. It is so cool to basically have the entire structure in here and it feels like a home now. And when the neighbors walk by and they wanna see it, they can, they can actually like visualize and people can visualize what the van's gonna be like and it's just really exciting so really productive trip i am excited to come back i will be back in a few weeks and then adam and i will be back together very soon our first time working on the van together since we bought it so lots of good things coming your way sorry if this vlog was a little boring and lame cabinet building is not the most exciting thing ever so i've prepared some fun bloopers for you So I've been spending a lot of time in the van and we don't have the insulation fully covered yet because we don't have walls yet and sometimes it kind of flies around and <coughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm getting hairballs now. Ugh. So tomorrow, this is what happens when you get no sleep. You're working on a van, you're learning lots, you get a little bit weird. <laughs>